We had special tickets for the Halloween party at Disneyland that night. So we headed out a little bit early, like 3.30 or so from California Adventure and got into line waiting for the gates to open at four so that we could get into the special event because it technically starts at seven, but they let you in three hours early if you happen to be there. And so we went in and we got our wristbands and for some reason they always put things on the uh, on your left wrist. Um, I'm sure they probably have a reason for that, but um, also when they stamp your hand, I think they stamp on the left. Because I'm pretty sure when we got our hand stamped, when we left California Adventure, they stamped it on the left. But uh, yeah, so uh, we did get our hand stamped just in case we wanted to go back into California Adventure for any reason. Like to maybe ride Tower of Terror again? <laughs> We didn't have time to, but we did get our hand stamped just in case. So once we were inside, we traveled around and down Main Street. Well, we didn't go completely down Main Street, but we got to the park entrance and everything and uh, where City Hall was because they have City Hall there. And uh, there was actually a band that came through and were playing. Uh, they had like a little parade and uh, the Dapper Dans were out there and they were singing like patriotic songs and stuff, which was pretty cool. And um, we went over and looked at the fire department because they have like at the firehouse above it, right above it is where Walt Disney's apartment was. So when he was alive, if he was in the apartment above the fire department, watching people coming and going in Disneyland, they would, he would have a lamp turned on in the window. So you knew that Walt was watching. And after he died, they kept the lamp on. So the lamp is always on. And so we got to see the lit lamp up there in the window, which was pretty cool. And um, we kind of looked around um, the city hall a little bit. Not much to see there though. Um, so anyway, after that, we walked down Main Street and Main Street USA is what it's called. Looked at some of the shops, but didn't actually go into any. I decided that since when we were at Magic Kingdom, when we went into the park, we went to the left into like Adventureland and everything. I decided, and then we kind of like made our way all the way around. I decided that it would be nice to this time go to the right and head to Tomorrowland first. So that meant that we were going straight to like Space Mountain and Star Wars and stuff like that. So, um, or Star Tours, excuse me. <laughs> so, um, that's what we did. And the first place that we went, the first ride that we got on was Star Tours, of course, like I just said. And, um, I don't think Kevin liked it that much, but I still liked it. Okay. It's, uh, <laughs> I guess after you've been on it three times, it kind of loses its luster, I guess. I don't know. It wasn't that great to begin with, but, you know, I liked it. It's kind of cheesy, but I mean, one of the main characters in it is C-3PO and I am C-3PO. Anytime that I take like a test of which Star Wars character are you, I end up with C-3PO just because I'm a freaking Virgo. Oh my God. But I do kind of act like him sometimes, so I can see it. Anyway, so um, I'm okay. I embrace my inner C-3PO. Kevin, I guess, is more R2-D2. So right after that, we went to Path of the Jedi, which is in like a theater and it's more of clip show kind of of Star Wars, but it's pretty well done. I mean, they try to show the story like up to the newest movie, which was really neat because they did have stuff from The Force Awakens in there. And it's also, you kind of have like rumble seats or something, so you can kind of, you're moving around a little bit and everything, but um... I don't know what Kevin thought of it, but I thought it was pretty good. Um, just as kind of like a refresher course, I guess. And it didn't have a lot of stuff from the prequels. And it didn't have a lot of stuff that was um, like the crappy scenes. It was like the good scenes, you know. And um, I did get a little bit scared at one point because... It showed them putting Darth Vader's mask on and I thought, oh my god, please don't do the big no moment. Please don't. This will ruin this whole thing. And they didn't do it, so it was all okay. <laughs> so yeah, after that, we looked at the Space Mountain line and it was so freaking long. It was going to take like 40 minutes for us to get through. So we decided to wait until maybe 
after all of the normal people got kicked out and only the party people got to stay because that's what they do at seven o'clock if you don't have your wristband if you're not here for the halloween party you get kicked out but um yeah so um we were hoping maybe after people got kicked out that the lines would be shorter and we could get on there yeah so since we didn't get into the space mountain line we decided to um walk over to the next <laughs> to the next ride which was autopia and Autopia, I think, is... I want to say it's one of the original rides, but I could be wrong. I probably am wrong. But I know that it's been around for a long time because I used to play on the Nintendo. The original Nintendo Entertainment System had a game about Disneyland. And you could ride, I think, four rides on there. And one of them was Space Mountain. And I think Pirates of the Caribbean was one. Big Thunder Mountain Railroad was one. And Autopia was one. And it seems like there was something else. And I can't remember what it was. I'm going to have to look that up now. What was that game? Oh, okay. It was Adventures in the Magic Kingdom. But technically, <laughs> while it's called Adventures in the Magic Kingdom, it was actually laid out more like Disneyland. And um, let's see what the ones were. Autopia, um, Big Thunder Mountain, Haunted Mansion. That was the other one because there were ghosts everywhere. I remember now. Uh, Pirates of the Caribbean and Space Mountain. Yeah, so those were the, um, you had to, like, go through all the levels to get keys, and then you could open up the castle or whatever. Anyway, I used to play that one a lot. Um, I never actually owned it, but we had, like, a, we used to go to one of the video rental places, and they rented, uh, video games also with VHS tapes, and, yeah, I rented that one a few times, I think. <laughs> I really liked it. Plus, I figured I would never get to go to Disneyland or the Magic Kingdom. So, you know, that was the only way that I would be able to go there is through a video game, which is really sad when you think about it. So anyway, back to Autopia. So um, on Autopia, I made the biggest mistake that I could possibly make during the night, and that was to let Kevin drive. You see, I like rides where I don't have to do anything. I just get to sit there and things happen around me and I get to watch and I don't have to sit there and drive a car because I don't want to drive a car. I just want to sit there. I want to experience it. I don't want to have to actually do stuff. So, um, unfortunately, Autopia is one where you actually have to drive a car. Now, there's like a little thing that you can't get over so you can kind of swerve and everything and you can speed up and you can stop. But, um, yeah, there's not really that much leeway of where you can go but I didn't want to drive so I begged basically begged Kevin to please drive so I wouldn't have to and it was the biggest mistake because he ended up driving like an insane person just to spite me yeah that happened I'm still pissed about it but there was this poor little like girl in front of us she was probably I don't know 13 or so and he, she didn't, she wasn't very good at it. She didn't have control, you know, she was kind of just, I guess she couldn't press the gas down very well. So she was like constantly starting and stopping and, oh God, it was the worst because Kevin kept getting this close to her and he actually bumped her once and he was like swerving all over the place and I was just like, I just, can I just get out of this car right now because I was so pissed off. <sighs> he had a great time. I did not. And I felt so bad for that girl because if it were me, if I were in her shoes, I probably would have been having a panic attack at that point. And I felt so bad for her. And at one point she turned around and was like, sorry. And I felt so bad for her because I'm like, Kevin is like ruining this experience for her and for me both. But whatever, he's going to do what he wants to do. So, yeah, I did not have fun on Autopia. And when we got out, I was just, like, fuming. I'm like, I don't even want to look at you right now. Ugh. So, anyway, after we got off of Autopia, we went to find our next ride. And um, Space Mountain was still pretty long. And um, they have, like, Voyage... I don't know, some little submarine voyage. I cannot remember the name of it, but it's, like, Finding Nemo-themed submarine voyage. And, um, it used to be like a 20,000 leagues under the sea, I think, probably. But, yeah, now it's a Finding Nemo one. But, um, 
the line for it was kind of long, so we kept going to the next one, and the next one was Matterhorn. Anyway, that's one that I really wanted to ride because they don't have that one at Magic Kingdom. So I was really looking forward to the bobsleds, and we got into the line, and the couple behind us walked up reeking of pot. It's like, really? Seriously? You can't go to Disneyland without smoking a doobie? I mean, come on. Seriously? So... <laughs> <laughs> Never thought I would say smoking a doobie on one of my vlogs, but I just did. So yeah, that was fun. Um, and we waited in line and we were almost to the turnstiles. I mean, we were probably about seven people away from the turnstiles to get into the main area where you could get in. And the ride broke down. So they were, they announced, you know, it'll be about 10 to 15 minutes. So we were so close. It was like, we might as well just stay here and wait. Um, maybe it won't take too long. And of course they did get it fixed pretty quickly and the line started moving again. And we got up there and we got on the ride and we had already put our stuff in and went, we were like sitting there waiting all we had to do because we had already checked, they had already checked our seat belts and everything. All we had to do was wait for them to push the button so that we could ride the ride. And they shut the ride down. Don't know what happened to it. And the last time that they had done that, they let the people sit there because they were like, oh, well, we're fixing it and everything. But they didn't know how long it was going to take to fix it. And they were like, it's probably going to be a couple of hours. We were freaking right there. We were in our seats. We were buckled in and we couldn't do anything. And they gave us vouchers and told us that when it did open up again, if it did open up again, that night that all we would have to do is walk over to the green umbrella and we could give them our vouchers and we would immediately get into the line um toward the front <clears throat> so it was like okay fine we'll do that so we got our vouchers and i was pretty pissed off at this point because i had just gotten off of autopia where kevin acted like an idiot and then that happened and i didn't get to ride the bobsleds and i was pretty pretty ill and so we decided to go ahead and do the submarine, and that was okay. I'm not that big of a Finding Nemo fan, but, um, you know, it had, like, the characters swimming in the water and everything, and they were trying to find Nemo, and it was like, oh my god, <sighs> why does this kid always get lost? So when we were done with the submarine ride, we walked over to Space Mountain, and the line was so much shorter. It was probably, I think it said about a 10-minute wait, but it didn't end up being a 10-minute wait. It was probably closer to 5 but, um, yeah, so we finally got to get onto Space Mountain, which they had actually changed to Space Mountain something like Ghost Galaxy or something like that. So they had, like, ghosts coming at you and stuff, which was really weird, and I didn't really like it that much. And honestly, the one in Orlando is so much better, or at least I remember it more fondly. I think it's because the one in Disneyland doesn't have, like, big drops. It doesn't have big hills and stuff. It's just kind of like, okay, occasionally you'll have, like little drop, but it was mostly curves. And I don't care that much about curves. I want drops. Drops are where it's at, man. Especially when you're in the complete dark and, you know, there are like some specks that are supposed to be stars around you and you go and you don't realize there is a big drop in front of you and you just go down. Oh my God, it is amazing. And it wasn't like that. And I, I was very disappointed, honestly. And it was kind of like, why do people wait in line so long to ride this when I didn't even really enjoy it that much. Yeah. After that, we weren't sure what we were going to do next. So we just kind of wandered off and probably shouldn't have. They had roped off a bunch of areas and we still don't really know why. I guess it was because of the parade, but it was a little bit early to be roping off areas. It could have been because they were just trying to check for like, um, for wristbands and stuff. I guess that makes a little more sense. And I was about to starve to death. I was so hungry. I realized I hadn't eaten in like eight hours. I was, oh, my stomach was about to eat itself. So I was like, okay, Kevin, I have got to eat something before I starve to death. <laughs> I get overly dramatic about these things, especially when it comes to like eating. Anyway, so um, we started looking for a place to eat and there was nowhere to eat except for like all the way in Adventureland. That was where the food was. And that was the other opposite side of the park. Cause we were like close to where It's a Small World is, which is the other end. 
and it was like okay well the closest thing that we have is Tomorrowland so we end up walking back to Tomorrowland I swear we spent like five hours just in Tomorrowland oh my gosh but anyway they had a little place where you could get pasta and stuff so we had pasta and it was pretty good actually so after that we headed back over toward where the bobsleds were but uh, we didn't get on the ride although there was you know, there was probably enough room for us to get on there at that point but we didn't get on there because they were about to start the parade so we watched the parade and I actually took some video of that <laughs> Kind of disappointing to see the headless horseman at uh disneyland because he just kind of walked along he didn't gallop at magic kingdom when we went the headless horseman galloped and it was amazing because it was very frightening maybe they can't do that anymore because they're afraid like a kid is gonna walk out and get trampled or something i don't know Ugh. blame it on the kids that's what i say um but yeah he just kind of slowly walked which he still looked cool, but it was just a little less menacing. Yeah. But um, the parade was good. It was really fun to watch. And um, they didn't play the same music that they did in um, the parade at the other park. Because they have the Boo to You parade, which they have this little Boo... Uh, they have a little Boo to You song. And Kevin is kind of obsessed with it. 
and it's really fun. I like it, but um, you can look it up on YouTube. And um, they didn't have that. They had other music. It wasn't really as good, but uh, the parade was nice, and they had lots of floats with lots of villains and everything, and, and it was kind of Nightmare Before Christmas themed, which was nice. And um, after the parade, since we were right next to the bobsleds, and people had been watching the parade, there was no line! So we got to go immediately on to the bobsleds, and um, it ends up we didn't even need the voucher that we had in the first place, so we didn't even use it. Um, we thought we might use it later in the night when the crowds were a little bit bigger, but we didn't. Um, probably because as we were <laughs> on the ride, there was one part where we go through water and Kevin got splashed and he didn't like it. <laughs> so I'm blaming it on that. <laughs> so after we finished riding the Matterhorn bobsleds, we walked over to the front of the castle and watched the fireworks show because Oh my gosh, Disney knows how to do a fireworks show, and I'm not even joking. It is amazing. If you ever get a chance to go to a Disney park, you have to stay for the fireworks. I don't care which park it is. I think they pretty much all have fireworks, so stay for that because it is so great. Yeah, so I actually got video of the fireworks also, but I don't know how much it's going to show up on YouTube because it's so dark. <laughs> fireworks show was over we headed 
over to try to get into line for the Haunted Mansion. But by the time we got there, the line was so long. So we decided, you know, maybe we should go try to find a shorter line for something else and come back and maybe during like the next parade, maybe it will be, I don't know, not quite as long of a line. So that's what we decided to do. So we went to Adventureland and rode the Indiana Jones ride. And once we were done with that, because there's not really that much to talk about with that one, uh, but once we were done with that one, we went on the Jungle Cruise. And I was really excited to get to ride the Jungle Cruise because they also have that at Magic Kingdom. But for some reason, when we went to the Halloween party for the Magic Kingdom, um, that ride was closed because they closed early. I don't know why, but, um, yeah, so we got to do a nighttime jungle cruise and it was really fun. And the guy who was, um, and the guy who was driving the boat was really funny. And there were a bunch of people that I guess were locals and knew people who worked there, knew the cast members who worked at the jungle cruise. So they were kind of like quipping back and forth with him, which was really fun. And he was doing a bunch of puns. And even though Kevin hates puns, he actually really enjoyed the Jungle Cruise, he said. So yeah, and I really enjoyed it too. It was a lot of fun. And um, I definitely would recommend that one. It's just, I mean, you don't really do that much, but oh my gosh, it's, I think it's all about like the banter with the, um, the boat captain or whatever, because it was really fun. I liked it a lot. <laughs> so after we got off that ride, we headed over to where the Enchanted Tiki Room is. But we didn't go in there because we did go see that at um, Magic Kingdom. And we figured it's probably just the same thing. And um, so we just skipped that one. But since we were there, I got a Dole Whip. And if you don't know what a Dole Whip is, it is like a pineapple flavored soft serve ice cream kind of thing. And it's so good because it's got this tartiness from the pineapple. If you don't like pineapple, I guess it would suck. But um, yeah, it's pineapple flavored ice cream basically. And it's pretty hard to come by. It's pretty hard to find. Um, but it's definitely sold at Disney parks and at the Dole um, factory or whatever that is in Hawaii. And then occasionally you can find it like throughout the country in little places, but it's, it's pretty hard to find, but, um, it's really good. <laughs> I liked it a lot. So while I was eating the Dole Whip, we started heading back toward New Orleans Square. And you know, I never even saw the line for Pirates of the Caribbean. I don't even know where that one was situated in <laughs> New Orleans Square, but I know it had to be so somewhere there, but, uh, we never even did see the ride. So we didn't ride it, but, um, out over the... Um, Rivers of America, it was very foggy and they had the cadaver dance, which it was the dapper dance actually, but they're called the cadaver dance because they're all dressed up all spooky and stuff. And so they were out there on the river on a little boat, on a little barge or whatever, uh, singing songs, which was pretty cool. And um, so we kept on and we got to the haunted mansion line and they had closed it. They had closed it. So I didn't get to go on the Haunted Mansion, which is really a shame because it was Nightmare Before Christmas themed and that's like one of my favorite movies. And I didn't get to go in because I guess the line was so long that they decided that anybody who got in after a certain point would not actually get to ride the ride before the park closed. So they had to cut it off and we missed it. So that is my big regret of the whole trip probably is that I didn't get to go to the Haunted Mansion. So I sadly started walking away from the Haunted Mansion, eating my Dole Whip, which tasted slightly less good after that point. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It was awesome. Um, so as we were walking, we passed by Splash Mountain and I didn't get to ride Splash Mountain either while I was at Magic Kingdom. So I wanted to ride Splash Mountain, even though it was already kind of getting a little bit cold out. But, um, yeah, I wanted to get on there, so since Kevin wouldn't get on there with me because of the water ride, I had to ride with complete strangers, but it was really fun, and I had a good time, and I got completely soaked, and after that, as we were walking around, I was walking really, really weird because my shorts were so wet, and every time that my, <laughs> every time that I walked, my thighs were chafing, <laughs> which sounds really gross. But uh, Kevin laughed at me because I laughed at him the last time that his thighs were chafing. So, um, yep, I guess I got my comeuppance. Anyway, so, um, yeah, that wasn't fun, but the ride was pretty fun. 
not the whole getting wet part, but yeah. So, um, it was getting kind of near the end of the night, so Kevin said, all right, you have to prioritize the rides that you want to ride now because we probably only have enough time to ride one more. So I said, okay, well, these are the rides that I really want to ride. I want to ride Haunted Mansion, but that's not going to happen. I want to ride Big Thunder Mountain Railroad, and we're actually close by, so we should probably head that way. And there's one more ride that I kind of want to ride, and it is Mr. Toad's Wild Ride, because... I don't know, it just kind of sounded interesting. So he was like, okay, well, which one do you want to do? Can't do Haunted Mansion, so we'll go to Big Thunder Railroad. If I miss the other one, it's fine. So we go to Big Thunder Mountain Railroad, we get on the ride, we finish the ride, and there's still time left. So we head back toward the main area through the castle, which I didn't really get a big chance to look around very much, which is kind of sad because... It's Sleeping Beauty's castle, and Sleeping Beauty is one of my favorite movies, one of my favorite Disney movies, and I didn't even get to, like, really look around, but, um, walked through there, and there was Mr. Toad's Wild Ride, so we jumped on that one, too, and that was the last ride, and that was the last ride that we got to ride that night, and that ride is so freaking weird, because at the end, like, you're supposed to be Mr. Toad, and you're having a wild ride, but he's like in his new car and everything and he's going crazy and he's like driving into people's pastures and everything and then he gets into a wreck and the last part of <laughs> the last part of the ride you're in hell and there's like this devil guy who's like in judges robes and really really weird and i wasn't expecting it and <laughs> yeah so that's how we ended it we ended it in hell <laughs> So yeah, that was the last ride that we got to ride in Disneyland, and we had to head out because they were closing, unfortunately. But, um, had a great time. There were a lot of things that I didn't get to do, like, of course, Haunted Mansion, I didn't get to do that. I didn't get to ride, um, the Alice in Wonderland, um, ride. I didn't get to ride the Snow White ride or the Pinocchio ride, which I don't really care that much about. And then there were a bunch of, like, kitty rides that I didn't get to ride, but I don't really care about those. And the Tea Party, ugh. I wouldn't get on that one anyway because it's a spinny ride, of course, and I do not do spinny rides. And then there were a couple of other ones that, um, like Winnie the Pooh and Peter Pan, Flight of Peter Pan, and It's a Small World that I saw already at um, the other park, so it wasn't really that big of a deal. But uh, yeah, I think the only one that I really wanted to ride that I didn't get a chance to ride was Haunted Mansion, so such a shame, but oh well. But anyway, that was the trip to Disneyland, and then we had to walk all the way back to the hotel and we were so tired and I complained the whole time because my feet were hurting my back was hurting <sighs> but it was totally worth it it was so much fun <laughs> it was the best it was such a great day anyway um I guess that's all for now I've been talking probably for about two hours if I had to guess and my voice is really tired and I'm tired of talking and I still have a lot of stuff to talk about because I still have Minecon stuff to talk about. But I think the majority of this stuff is over. And I have no idea how I'm going to edit this because I only wanted it to be like three videos and it's already like two hours worth of footage. What am I going to do? And I haven't even talked about Minecon. Oh my god. So um, I'll save Minecon for another day and um, I'm done for the night. It is 11 o'clock at night and I need to go to bed. So... Um, yeah, I'll see you guys next time, and I hope you've enjoyed listening to my adventures in Knott's Berry Farm and Disneyland and Disney California Adventure, and yeah, I think that's pretty much all I did. Oh, Downtown Disney, all of that stuff, because I had a great time, and I just wanted to let you guys know all about it. <laughs> so anyway, I'll see you guys next time when I will talk about Minecon and the trip home, which was a disaster. Yeah. <laughs> Till then.